What is something you do that you know is morally wrong that you do anyway? I one time accidentally missed a doctor appointment without cancelling it 48 hours ahead of time. I knew they would charge me a 50 fee. So the next day I came to the office at the same time that my appointment had been the day before. When I was told that my appointment had been for the day before, I acted surprised. I must have written down the wrong date, I told them. I was able to reschedule without having to pay the fee. There was one time that I accidentally washed a pair of my nice Bluetooth earbuds. I called the company, and told them they stopped working for no apparent reason, and they sent me a new pair. Get joy out of seeing bad things happen to people who wronged me. Sometimes I complain to my cat about my wife. Sometimes I lie about having bad blood sugars to get out of functions I don't want to attend. If I've gotta have diabetes, it may use it to my advantage. These responses are pretty varied. JK off to women I know, have seen, or creep on Instagram I even fantasize about them farting, nailing them on my couch, my mind goes to dark places, and I give my bunnies too many treats. One of these is not like the other lol. Sometimes I make up little lies or embellish details about my day, so I have something to contribute to conversations. Nice try Santa and or Jesus. Gossiping. I want to stop. I didn't realize how much I do it until I tired to stop. There's a restaurant next to me that gives you a free entree after you download their app and place your first order. I learned that you can download the app, order the cheapest item on the menu, get the free entree, use it, delete the app, and repeat the process. You still get a free entree every time you place your first order after downloading the app. For the last year or so, I've been getting free entrees for pennies on the dollar. It's not a mom and pop place, so I don't feel bad about it one bit. It's their fault for not closing the loophole. Alright fine, I admit it. There are probably times when splitting desert with my daughter, that maybe the portions aren't exactly equal. I feel that's a small price to pay for knowing that 78 of the drinks I have at home, have her backwash in it. I call that even. Hit no bags on the self-scan when I do. I borrow pens from the office, and then act just as surprised as everyone else when they go missing. I like to think of it as a pen adoption program giving them a better life and more diverse experiences outside the office. Sometimes I lie. I never lie about huge stuff, but I know white lies are not necessarily morally sound. I bypass paywalls on news sites while lamenting the quality of investigative reporting these days, and I hate myself for it. I use self-checkout at WM and subsidize my free unpaid labor in various other ways. Be a high and lazy piece of garbage while the rest of the world suffers real problems. I'm a serial jaywalker. Clocking out early my work's clock rounds up to the nearest quarter hour. So if I clock out at 4.53, it counts it as 5 p.m. But that also means I stop getting paid at 4.53, so in my mind that means I'm wasting time staying an extra 7 minutes. Maybe you could call that taking 7 minutes of pay without working, but the day is basically over and everyone is mentally checked out anyway. I usually don't have any work come in in the last half hour either. I order cappuccinos from the self-serve machines and tell the cashier they are Americanos. Buy and eat Kit Kats without breaking them I sneak food and drinks into the movie theater use a website for usernames and passwords of porn sites impersonating an officer of the Starship Enterprise. I sometimes don't want to talk to my coworker on the way out of work when we both end up leaving at the same time, so we'll purposely leave my earphones at my desk, walk into the lift with them, and then when the door is about to close, they'll say damn I left my earphones and let them go without me. Piracy, but to be fair I don't really have a lot of money. I pirate movies and shows all the time. Just a light bit of regicide. Nothing too much. I eat my children's Halloween and Valentine's Day's candy, but say it ran out from them eating it all. I lie a lot nothing important, though I hate quoting Holden Caulfield, but the line am the most terrific liar you ever saw in your life. It's awful. If I'm on my way to the store to buy a magazine, even, and somebody asks me where I'm going I'm liable to say I'm going to the opera. It's terrible is something I identify with little lies to make life more exciting, or funny, or whatever. Or if I'm just bored I have a lot of embarrassment towards eating no eating disorder just weird about self-worth, so I'll come up with a random story if I want to hide something I ate just little things. Sometimes I call out of work just to stay home and watch horror movies all day and hang out with my cats. Allow myself to go down a rabbit hole of self-hatred and feeling bad about myself, eventually becoming very mentally ill because I've been finding comfort in unhappy places without actually believing any of my own thoughts. I give my bunnies too many treats.